Hello, Bar Review Nation, Gabe, Nick, and we are here today to bring you another song reaction, Fresh Off The Presses, a little Led Zeppelin, Nick, and tell them what song we're reacting to. Black Dog. Nick, now I'm excited for this one for two reasons. I've enjoyed Led Zeppelin thus far, but it's at Madison Square Garden, all right? They call it the Mecca. Have you ever, you've never been to, you've been to New York, but I doubt you've ever been to the Madison Square Garden. I've seen it. Okay. Not go inside. Just from the outside. Here's the thing. It's the Mecca, but it's actually not that big. Like, I've been to bigger sports arenas, bigger sport or, sporting arenas, but because it's in the center of Manhattan, I mean, where it's at, the big games have been played there from, you know, college basketball, right? Seton Hall, some of the big championships. I've been thinking games. about some of the so, early wrestling venues have been there. Yeah, Madison Square Garden, wrestling venue, big concerts there as well, uh, uh, big acts. Um, Oh, you know, big boxing matches. Like, the Garden is the Mecca. That was where every major, like, event used to happen. And then, of course, now it's in Vegas because we got all these huge venues up here and we're the entertainment Hollywood capital. Boy. We're the in a, ca entertainment capital of America. Nay the world. But, <laughs> nay the world. But, you know, the thing about it is, I want to say, you can look it up. I don't think it holds more than like 20 something thousand, 30,000. It's not, it's a basketball arena, so it's not yeah, that it's big. Older place. So when you get in there, you're like, this is MSG, but bro, it is hollowed ground. It is absolutely hollowed ground. And it would be so cool to watch a concert there. Um, I remember, this is back to like in the 90s. I want to say it was like the 90s. My brother and. My cousin and all of them had guys. I don't know if you know who Andrew Dice Clay is, yeah. but he played at the Garden. And bro, the tickets back then were like a hundred bucks to go watch him. And I wanted to watch, but it was like eighteen and over, and they're like, "We're not taking a chance." Like, you know what I mean? I tried to get in there as a minor because, of course, my mom wasn't gonna let me go in there. Have you heard Andrew Dice Clay stuff? Little Miss Muppet sat on that stuff. <laughs> but I mean, like, it, it, people go there, man, and it's it's so cool. So I'm excited to watch this concert. Like, I'm just looking at the picture and looking at all those people there. Obviously, they're on the floor, so for concerts, you could probably hold more than like the senior arena when Time they're playing people. a basketball yeah. game. But man, it's it it would. I'm sure for most artists, it's probably on their bucket list of that. I gotta play the Garden. I've got to. Taylor Swift would sell it out in 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You know you've it's arrived. That long. But yeah, exactly. Do you know if they've done updates to it, like the facilities and all that kind of stuff? I've not. You know what? I gotta reach out to my peoples back home. Uh, I have not been back to New so York in at that least. Long. That's one of the reasons why the Oakland, Oakland Athletics, you know, and the owner's garbage, but their facilities were, were trash. I was talking to some season ticket holders of the Aviators here, and they were season ticket holders there, and they said out of 32 stalls in a bathroom, two would be working. Uh, it, it and was, they never fixed them. And I went there, and it was absolutely a dump. And it had been, you got to understand, it was actually a football stadium, not a baseball stadium. Right. And they just played on it. But it looked bad, bro. And it was in a bad area, bad neighborhood. Like, it was just time to go. Sad part is, we, our aviators here, average between five and 6,000. They did not average five or 6,000 for years. Yeah. Last year was a joke. They'd have like seven, 800, and we'd have like five, 6,000. There was like a comparison between a minor league, tip triple A team, and a pro team. Yesterday, the last game, at Oakland, I'm sure they sold 45,000 yeah. people. Because everybody but, wanted that last ticket. Yeah, last ticket, right? Nostalgic or whatever. But it's like, you know what? It's over, man. It's done with them. Yeah. Garbage. So hopefully MSG is not too bad. You know, it's been around. This is 1973. When I think of Black Dog, I think of a movie with uh, was it Patrick Swayze. Semi-trucks. It's actually a pretty good action film. Anyways, we're going to go and check this out. If you like our reaction, please don't forget to like and subscribe. 1973. There's been someone on uh, the videos with Jody and I where they'll comment like on every video, you guys talk too much. And I can't really argue with them. Yeah, who cares? We do. And I tell them, there's a fast forward button, pal. Unfortunately. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, the way you move. Don't make you slap, don't make you cool. I was about to say that's why my eyes kind of like they're hurting it somewhere. Okay, this, what is this from? Got a flame. 
Mate. To do that at the garden, I mean, all I can say is, wow, that's insane. Woo! <laughs> it's like, oh, man. I don't want to start a holy war here, a music war, but try to convince me how Prince is better than that right there. I mean, bro, it was, that's impressive. That's probably one of the best guitar riffs. One of, that's amazing. I, I, I mean, I got to put that in, like, uh, right up there with that Prince 
Uh, uh, so, I mean, that is amazing, bro. And you know what I was going to say? They, for 70s, I feel like they're more rock and roll than any other band. Hardcore, it's yeah. hardcore you know what I mean? And he's got a soulful voice, actually. Very, like, uh, 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 almost jazzy, you know what I mean? But, man, the, oh, man, they slay. Woo! I've got to say top five guitar riff of all time. Okay. Oh, easily. Easily. I mean, you know what? I retract that previous statement. <laughs> Maybe top two. <laughs> it's it's moving up with the bullet. Um, So I, I never really grew up listening to these guys too much. I, I've heard their music like in, you know, shows, radio, whatever it is. Boogie Nights. Was it was it Boogie Nights with Mark Wahlberg? The dun, dun, dun. Could be, the, I, I think I'm telling you I've heard that, that somewhere, man. Well, I'm sure you have. But the thing that I like as I'm listening to it with you and I'm really sitting down listening to it, these guys have got to be one of the most creative bands of all time because their songs, they don't follow any kind of like a rubric no. or any type of like, this is how a song goes. You have, you know, lyrics mixed with the, the, the vocals, mixed with the music, all that kind of stuff. They do whatever they want. This song he says a few words and then he lets the music play it out. Yeah. And he says, I, it's, yeah. and you're waiting for that like minute long of him just singing along yeah. and it just never happens right. because that's not the way they want the song and they have so many songs like that we started with stairway to heaven right. where it's just very very creative right. and they just let's just write what we want to write yeah their music it doesn't really file have a rhyme or reason and i think that to your point that's the creativity right because like for instance one of the things that is a knock on rap and this is true is that it's a very you know, commercial or a very, you know, it, it, it's a repeatable pattern, right? Here's a rep recipe, 16 bars, chorus, 16 bars, chorus, 16 bars, you're done. So you can pretty much like, even though you might hear a song for the first time, you know where, okay, these are the last 16 bars. So this is probably going to be, you know, the hardest hitting bar or, you know, the end of the song is coming up. Where here, you don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you could say, it, 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 it's, you don't know how much more time is left. And the blueprint. It, it, exactly. The, the blueprint is so different. Where in rap, 90% of the songs all follow that same, you know what I mean? Like, like rubric to your point of, all right, guys, give us those 16 bars. And then we can jump into the chorus. And then 16 bars. And then we're going to jump into the chorus. And, you know, done. And you don't get that here. And to... to I think that that was one of the things that I really loved about Bohemian Rhapsody as well. That song follows no kind of formula. It's like, what is going on here? You know, you go from like opera to, or acapella. Well, yeah, opera kind of, acapella singing, right? He's without the songs. And then he throws on the, the classical and then it goes to hard rock. And you're like, you know what I mean? Like, what? you're just being inundated with so much information and, and, and so much stimulus at the time that sometimes it, it could be overwhelming right that that kind of song and that's how i felt about this one like wait wait are we going into the, oh no no oh and then the guitar solo was like bro the guitar solo was amazing added it as you say acapella is totally random but it makes me think of eight mile where he's doing the rap battle okay and he's like forget it, i don't need the music i'll go acapella and he just starts going off and everyone anyways right, right. We hope you enjoyed our reaction to this one. Let us know what's the next Led Zeppelin song you want us to react to. We want him to react to it for the first time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, we know all things.